Hello guys, welcome back to literature classes. This is Abhilasha. Guys, today I am going to discuss a literary term, archaism. So I'll discuss what is this archaism and how many writers have used this term, archaism. So guys, this archaism is a word which is originated from the word archaeos. Archaeos, which means ancient, which means ancient or you can say old or you can say outdated but the literary meaning is ancient or archaeos literary meaning is ancient guys what is this archaism archaism is a word or you can say an expression or a style of language that is used by many writers and the words or this, these expression have become obsolete. The words or the expression which is outdated, which is obsolete, which has become obsolete or you can say are no longer in use, outdated. That is archaism. The words, uh, the style of language which has become outdated or have become obsolete that is basically archaism there are many writers who have used this archaism i mean who have used this type of language the words the archaic words in their poems in their literary work for example the words how can you uh, see what is the archaic word? For example, there are some words I will tell you. The, dine, or you can say die, or thou. These are some words, these are some archaic words. They have become outdated now. They are now out, uh, have become obsolete. But still, there are writers who have used this word in order to achieve a poetic style, in order to show the greatness of their style or you can say in order to uh, show that they are great, they are genius and they are uh, writing a very good poem and they are using a lucid style, a good style, right? So, this, these are some archaic words. There are writers who have used this archa archaism. For example, Edmund Spencer. Edmund Spencer has written The Fairy Queen in 1590 to 96. Fairy Queen is a poem. It is an epic poem. And in this epic poem, Edmund Spencer has used number of words, number of archaic words. And you can say he has used archaic language. Uh, the, uh, the, uh, like he has used, he has imitated. He has imitated the old English language, right? William Shakespeare has written 154 sonnets. In his 154 sonnets, he has used archaic words in number of sonnets. He is a master of archaic language archaic words clear for example he wrote this line to thine own self be true to thine own self be true here thine this word thine is archaic words it means you or yourself here it is used for yourself thine own self means yourself you should be true to yourself you should be true to your self. That means, thy means your, your. Thy means your. You should be true to yourself. This word, your is in use. Your is used, but thine is become obsolete. Thine has become obsolete or you can say this is an outdated word. But it is used by William Shakespeare in order to achieve a poetic style. And this is a line from Hamlet written by William Shakespeare. Uh, you can see the next example. 
John Keats. After William Shakespeare, there are many writers who, has, who have used this uh, term. And in the Romantic age, John Keats wrote a poem, Ode on a Gresham Urn. In Ode on a Gresham Urn, he has used number of words, number of archaic words. For example, see this, these lines. Thou still unravished bride of quietness, thou foster child of silence and slow time. Silence and slow time. Here, thou still unravished. This word thou. This word thou means you. This is also an archaic word used by John Keats. Thou still unravished bride of quietness. Means you are still unravished bride of quietness. You are still untouched. Right? In the next line, thou. Again the word thou is used. Thou means here also you. Thou foster child of silence and slow time. Your foster child. That means your foster child. Right? So, this is a poem. This is a line from Ode on Aggression Earned. It is an ode written by John Keats, a romantic poet. See the next example to understand more, to learn more, to learn better, you can say. God save thee, ancient mariner, from the fears that plague thee thus. I am writing this line again so that it will be visible more to you. Yeah, from the fiends, from the fiends that plague, that plague thee thus, thee thus. This is the second line, this is the first line. God save thee. Ancient mariner from the fiends that plague thee thus. Here the word thee and here the word thee. These two words are archaic words and these are uh, these are archaic words used by John Keats. Sorry, used by S. G. Coleridge, one of the romantic poets, one of the important or you can say major romantic poet. He has written a ballad. Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner. Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner. It is written by S.T. Coleridge. Clear? So, in this line also you see the words used like the, the means here you. The means you and this the means also you. God save the, God save you ancient mariner. He is addressing here God save you ancient mariner. He is praying. <clears throat> Clear? So these are some archaic words used by the writers, used by um, William Shakespeare, John Keats, Edmund Spencer, S.T. Coleridge and also by Ernest Hemingway. Ernest Hemingway is also one of the writer who has several archaic words. So this is archaism. The words the, thy, thou, thine, thy. These are the words uh, if used by any writers at any place that is you can say easily that is archaic words and this is called archaism. So, from the, uh, you can say before the Elizabethan era till the modern era, these archaism is still prevailing or you can say the use of archaism is still going on. The writers, the poets are using still now this archaism. So that's it about archaism. I hope the video is going to help you a lot. Okay, so...
that's it for today i'll meet you very soon with a new video till then keep studying and have fun with the teacher thank you